despite being one of the biggest space agencies in the world for decades, in recent times, NASA has been receiving direct competition from the likes of Blue Origin and SpaceX, the latter being one of the fastest growing space companies out there. No wonder NASA completely denied the aerospace company. Today we will be talking about NASA completely denying the SpaceX launch. You must be wondering, how and why did they deny this launch? Is this denial justified, or is this an attempt to sabotage SpaceX's rapid growth? Will this decision have any consequences for the space world? Well, stick around till the end as we answer these questions and more as we dwell into the intricacies surrounding the two largest space companies. Without further ado, let us begin. SpaceX is an aerospace company that is involved in outer space projects by producing machinery and parts for this purpose. On the other hand, NASA is a space agency which does the same thing. But since it is a government agency, it has a significant power over other space agencies such as SpaceX and Blue Origin. This gives it the authority to allow or limit a space company, provided it has breached some rules or proved its worth. Let us go through a recent example of this. For example, we have had Elon Musk experimenting again and again with his spacecraft, with numerous accidents and failures along the way. But Musk has always reiterated that these failed experiments and test runs are important as they help SpaceX collect valuable data about their spacecrafts. Now to many, this attitude might seem reasonable, but not NASA. As we have already discussed, NASA controls the permissions when it comes to space travel. Now when the space agency saw the extent of the damage that was occurring due to SpaceX test runs, they quickly realized that the launching pad at Cape Canaveral, Pad 39A, which SpaceX had been permitted to use, was not going to survive. This will not only result in high maintenance costs, but will also endanger any future flights that were scheduled for this particular launching pad. There are quite a few launch pads at the site. However, the one that's authorized to send the crewed spacecraft is only one, and that is Launch Pad 39A. That is why they decided to deny SpaceX of its further use. As you can see, this is a perfectly justified reason for NASA's denial. But do you think any form of sabotage has taken place? Stick till the end as we reveal the answer to this suspicious query. You must be wondering, doesn't SpaceX use its own launching pad that is located in Boca Chica, Texas? Well, if they scheduled all their launches there, the process will be quite slow. This is because rocket launches can be quite time-consuming, as it takes time to set up everything and pre-launch, and when a rocket finally launches, it destroys everything. So you need to set everything up again from scratch. This all slows down the launch rate. Now we know how Elon Musk really likes to do stuff really quickly. This is why he started using the launch pad at Cape Canaveral. While it was really helping them in maintaining a healthy launch rate and their rockets are improving drastically, I guess they neglected the many negative externalities they were bringing about. As NASA does have a point that it can really cause damage to the launch site if the current launch rate is maintained. Now let us answer the question that is in the minds of everybody. Did NASA intentionally do this to sabotage SpaceX? It might seem that this is the case for many conspiracy theorists, but let me make it clear, it is just a rumor. Companies sabotage each other so that their product takes all the market or the glory. But in this case, what is the point? SpaceX might be a company, but NASA is an agency. Rather than limiting SpaceX, it stands to gain more advantages if it promoted and helped them in their missions. This will not only help them to attain more information about various aspects of space, but it will make it easier for them to plan their own future NASA missions. Many people have built this misconception that SpaceX and NASA are fiercely competing with each other, which is why such false rumors are quite common. So you should rule out any rumors such as sabotage. If anything, NASA would probably have tried all possible alternatives before coming to the conclusion that SpaceX launches should be halted in Cape Canaveral. Now, what are the consequences of such a decision? Well, as you can imagine, 
SpaceX will be affected greatly as this will really slow down their launch rate. They are dependent on their launches so that they can observe and note down their findings, which will ultimately help them in their next journey. Looking at the bright side, however, it seems like this decision will have a lot of positive effects. Besides the obvious less degradation of the launch pad 39A, it will also have a lot of environmental advantages. It should be clear that, like all combustion-driven propulsion systems, rocket engines release pollutants into the environment. Let me give you an example. We all know how car exhaust systems are harmful to the environment. Now imagine a car, but it is producing thousands of times more pollution. Yes, you heard that right. That is roughly the amount of pollution that comes out when a rocket launches. So it is safe to say that NASA's decision might be a blessing in disguise. In the end, I would just like to say that whatever the decision is from NASA, SpaceX should focus on finding an alternative. Their mission is a noble one, which is to land on Mars and ultimately find a new planet for humanity to thrive. While I agree that denial at Cape Canaveral was important, NASA should then grant SpaceX permission to launch elsewhere so that their schedule is not disturbed. The more launches Musk manages to make, the closer we are to finding a new home. Let's just hope Musk and NASA soon find a new agreement and the eccentric billionaire continues with his mission. I think we discussed everything there is to know regarding NASA's denial of SpaceX launches, but if you still have any questions, do let us know in the comments down below. That is it for the video, I hope you liked and enjoyed it. Please let us know by pressing the like button, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications. Till then, take care of yourself and I will see you in the next one.